But like I say, for those women who are uh, content with who they are or they know who they are, they're secure in their who they are, they don't mind serving you. And because they don't mind serving you, you go out. You you do you go out for them. You you go all in for them. You don't what 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 he say? You can get whatever you like. Like that's because she makes you feel special. She makes you feel she makes you feel like a king. And what I find is a lot of dudes don't know how to accept love because we don't we don't recognize that that's what it is. We don't. A lot of us don't feel we deserve to be loved. Not like that. Not, not like that. Man, if she's there doing for you, you deserve it, big dog. I'll let that lady love you. Let that lady show you love because you deserve it. Hey, yo, what's good? So you're probably asking yourself, what the hell is a submissive woman? It's like one of those relics that people haven't seen in centuries or that statement that women make, there are hardly any good men. Well, just like that statement isn't true, there are submissive women in this world who are ready to serve you, who are ready to, who are willing to cater to you. But because they're so rare, a lot of us dudes don't know how to accept them when we find them in our lives. Like, depending on where you're from or how you were raised mostly, you look at her serving you as a form of weakness. Like, she's a weak woman because she does that for you. And I'm here to tell you, that's not weakness at all. Um, and we'll get into that. Uh, or you don't want to let go of your independence. Once you get into a relationship with her, you don't want to let go of your independence of, you know, who you are. So you always saying to, nah, nah, I get it. Nah, nah, I take care of it. Nah. And that was me. That was me, especially when we first got into a relationship. You know, I know how to cook. I know how to iron clothes. You know what I'm saying? I know how to do all that stuff, you know? So I didn't want to let that go. And that was one reason. And another reason I didn't want to let it go and probably some dudes fall under this too. You don't want her to get you used to something and then take it from you. Sometimes for punishment, you know, well, I'm not doing this for you no more because you didn't do this. I, I do it for myself anyway. And I, I'm, I'm talking about like, that's why one of the reasons I didn't want to let go of my independence because you're not going to hold nothing over my head. Um, what I realized though, is her wanting to serve me, her wanting to cater to me was her way of showing love. And that's all that was. That catering or acts of service was her love language. And when I would tell her no or I'll take care of it, she shuts down. Like it was like she would go into herself. Um because she couldn't give to give of herself fully. So what I had to do is al allow her to speak to me in her love language. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta allow to, to her to speak to you in your, her love language. Because all she wants to do is make your life easier. She wants to make your life easier. That's all she wants to do. For example, um, we need some things from the store. So my wife gives me a, a grocery list and I don't know if she does this because she wants to make my life easier because I'm slow as hell. But the list is thought out, like well thought out. She lists the things from what's in the first aisle to the to the last aisle. On the that's how she listed on the list. So by the time I get to the end of the, to the back of the store, I have everything on my list. So I don't, I'm not, I don't have to go to the back of the store to get something to the middle, then back to the back and to the front. Like it's, it's, it's a, it's an easy uh, list for me to follow all the way to the back of the store. It makes my life easier. You know what I'm saying? And that's all, it makes that task, uh, you know, it makes that task easier. 
And that's all she wanted to do was just make my life easier. So if you have someone in your life that want to make your life easier, allow that lady to make your life easier, man, because it is her pleasure to do for you sometimes before she does for herself because she loves you. She is constantly in a state of servitude to you. That, that's what's on her mind, to please you, to make your life easier. Um, before, when you used to ask, when they used to ask, did a women have egos? People would say, no, women don't have an ego. Because when you're in a constant state of servitude to, to not only a man, but to just servitude to your family, to kids, when you're constantly in a state of servitude, it quiets your ego. So, you know, they didn't have an ego. And when you look at the word ego, it deals with everybody. It's a general word because it deals with a person's self-esteem. But when they use the word, they use it negatively towards men. He's egotistical. He's self-centered or um, extremely conceited. Those same characters that they used to say that men had, because women are now making masculine decisions, like, you know, on a grand scale, they have huge egos. And it is hard for them to quiet their egos, especially when it comes to serving a man or catering to a man. Why should she serve her competition? He can make his, he can cook for himself. He can make his own plate. I do it. I clean the house. He can do it too. It's, it's hard for them to quiet that, Ex, especially just for any guy. But for the right man, she could, you know, be independent and uh, taking over the work world, but she'll come home and make you feel like a king, make you feel like a king because she doesn't mind serving you. She doesn't mind catering to you. Um, and, and believe me, the, the, her, her friends, her friends are telling her she's stupid for doing it. The, the so society is telling her that she's stupid from, for serving you. But because she's confident or con she's content with who she is, she's confident in who she is as a woman, she doesn't mind. She don't listen to them. And, 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 and it's the word submissive that a lot of women don't like. It's that word submissive. Uh, it, it sounds like a slave to them. You know, I'm not his slave. I'm not going to be submissive to him. But like I say, for those women who are uh, content with who they are or they know who they are, they're secure in their who they are, they don't mind serving you. And because they don't mind serving you, you go out, you you do you go out for them. You you go all in for them. You don't what 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 he say? You can get whatever you like. Like that's because she makes you feel special. She makes you feel she makes you feel like a king. And what I find is a lot of dudes don't know how to accept love because we don't we don't recognize that that's what it is. We don't. A lot of us don't feel we deserve to be loved. Not like that. Not, not like that. Man, if she's there doing for you, you deserve it, big dog. I'll let that lady love you. Let that lady show you love because you deserve it. You know what I mean? All right, big dog. Y'all be safe, man. Y'all be safe. You know, I hope this helps for, you know, those of us who are in relationships. Uh, you, you need to be spoiled, man. Let that lady serve you and you serve her. Y'all are being submissive to each other. Honestly, y'all are being submissive to each other. You doing for her, she doing for you. No, everybody in the relationship know that they're not going to be taken advantage of. And, and that's the fear of shit, like men and women. We don't want to be taken advantage of. But if it's love, I mean, you can't take advantage of love. You know what I mean? Just make sure that's that's what it is. All right, y'all be safe, man.